Hello, I am Fravatar. Welcome back to another episode, or a brand new episode of Let's Play Battletech. What is Battletech? Well, think about it as XCOM, but the soldiers are in big stompy robots. But we'll watch the uh, intro here. as Mech Warrior. This is how it all starts. 2116. Tau 4. And then everywhere. Years later, the Star League is ratified. And then I think the Succession Wars. This is the game that I basically wanted MechWarrior Online to be, but instead of being a first-person shooter where you're piloting the mech yourself, this is more is a real-time strategy where you control a squad of mechs and a team, and you have to buy and upgrade and pay for your repairs. I was having issues. Um, so I have all these start games, but uh, I will delete them. Yes, I want to delete everything, because I figured it out. I was having problems with specific uh, menus not appearing in game, and it was because I was using DxTory. Back? Yeah. Uh, the FPS counter, specifically, was interfering with the way the game displays certain menus, not all of them, but that being said, I'm going to start a new game. this uh, is very much like is Mech Commander 1 and 2. If you've ever played those games from the 90s, this is very similar, similar to that. Except I think uh, your squad is limited to four members, can never be more than that. So far, I'm hoping for an expansion. I am Kamea of House Arano, High Lady of the Oregon Reach protector of Koromadir, and the sword of restoration. But I am not a hero, no matter what the stories say. A hero would have sacrificed more, compromised less. A hero would have done better. You know this, of course. You were there. My father used to tell me stories about the ancient times, about the Star League, a golden age of prosperity, upheld by the great mech warriors of old, guardians of the innocent, protectors of the peace. I always dreamed of following in their footsteps. 
I was too young to see the truth of things. After all, it wasn't heroism or a noble cause that won me the throne. It was hiring a mercenary, skilled enough, perhaps ruthless enough, to carry the day. Hiring you. I still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it, for belief in my cause, or just in my money. But whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind, your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. Whether you believe it, that's up to you. Battletech Restoration. Welcome to the Oregon Reach. The Oregon Reach is a small kingdom in the Rib War periphery. A region of space that lies at the outskirts of more densely colonized inner sphere. It is home to the Oregon Coalition, a federation organized around the parliamentary monarchy and ruled by the Arano family. For three generations under the rule of House Arano, the Oregon Co Coalition has remained a relatively peaceful corner of the periphery. Here your story begins. All right, background, choosing our background. Okay, so these are all the houses. Draconis Combine. Fierce discipline, relentless fighters, no matter the odds. Passionate, enduring fighters, justice and equality above all else. Finally owned skills, better equipment. I don't think it really matters, except for flavor text. So I think I think I'll choose Rimward Periphery. Yeah, I'm from this area. You are of noble birth. Immigrants to the Oregon Ridge, your family soon established comfortable present in a small backwater system at the edge of Oregon space. By the time you were born, family had become the de facto ruling nobility in the system's only inhabited planet. You were the oldest child, heir to the family's title and ancestral battle men, old Blackjack BJ1. This is where you met Raju Mastiff Montgomery, a veteran of the succession wars, whom your parents hired on a hired on for a season to train you as a mech warrior. Rydra was a strict but capable teacher and you quickly became a skilled pilot under his tutelage. It was an uneventful life. After the day of your 16th birthday when you were exiled. No. Struck out on your own? No. Family went bankrupt. Mm, maybe. Family died in an accident. Mm, maybe. Family was betrayed. I mean, that sounds more like... Family went bankrupt. How about that, yeah? And then he became a frontier freelancer. Years later, you cross path with Mastiff Montgomery once again. Running on a routine patrol in a local government of the outskirts of Oregon Reach, you were set upon by pirates and left for dead. Picked up by Raiju, yeah. Told you to come work for the Royal Guard, okay.
Yeah, I think so. I guess. Guess that'll do. Yep. Hi, Lord Tamati Arano Two is dead. The Oregon Reach is left at uncertain crossroad road. Once prosperous, it is now a kingdom in decline. Lord Santiago Espinoza, the brother-in-law to the late High Lord, is convinced that the slow-moving council of founding houses must be dissolved. Pose a directive to conscript the house's guards. However, How Lord, heir and noble Lady Kamea Arano is determined to rebuild the reach without transforming it into an authoritarian state. She refuses to enact her uncle's directive and has rebuked his proposals. On the morning Lady Arano's ascension to the throne, her loyal captain of the guard, Raju Mastiff Montgomery, makes preparations to escort her safely to her coronation in the city. Coronation Day, Arano Summer Palace, 8.53 local time. Alright, I'll pause the recording here, bring it back when it's ready, also because I want to check make sure it's recording correctly. Okay, so we're back, everything seemed okay. Uh, we're going to begin the first tutorial mission. Interface initiated. Move the mouse to the other screen or WASD or the arrow keys. Right mouse scroll. There we go. And here we go. Here's the, this is the part that where I was glitching out. Everything seems okay now. So Raj, Raju, Raju Mastiff Montgomery. Okay, Fravatar. I had the Espinosa refit yards. Rush the repairs on your blackjack. Looks like it's all in one piece. But we should run some diagnostics on it just to be sure. Standard field tests. You know the drill. More importantly though, I want to tell you more about the job I bought, brought you out here to do. Now do me a favor and get that battle mech moving. Let's see if there's any kinks in the actuators. Be nicer if all that was voiced and I wouldn't have to read it, but that's I'll okay. Right out and say it, kid. I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. There's going to be more to this job than escort duty. See, like he's voiced here. He could have just voiced all of it. But that's fine. 
just means I'm going to have to do a lot of reading. Alright, so let's uh, move. Facing is important. I brought you here because there's something wrong in the capital. It's been too quiet since the Lord T Tamatil's funeral, and I'm worried worried about Lady Camilla's safety during her coronation procession. Anyway, looks like your actuators check out. Let's conduct a weapons test. Target one of those burnt out urban mechs and open fire. Like I was saying, I can't prove anything. All right, well, let's not waste ammo. That tells me something's off, and a warrior trusts their instincts. Yeah, something's off. Just fire everything but... But the cannons. Yeah, wow, well, okay. Enemy mech destroyed. Super destroyed. Good shot. Your guns are in working order, at least. I've been training Lady Arano since she was 14 years old. She can be naive at times, and proud, but I have no doubt that she'll be a just and an effective ruler. It's on to us to see her safely to Cordia City. I'll rest easier, easier once she's in the capital, with her cousin Victoria by her side. Lady Victoria. Well, she's only been training under me for a single season but she's already shaped herself into one of the strongest mech warriors I've ever seen. Reminds me a lot of you, truth to be told. Anyway, we should run a check on your targeting computer. You see that drone over there? The one moving through the tree line? Put some hurt on it for me, and then when it turns, take it out with a rear, rear angle shot. After it's down, we'll keep moving. Alright? Her late father, High Lord Damati, was a good friend. Yeah, so right now it's facing the front. I think that's what that means. I would want to shoot it from the rear, but I can't. From here, Engaging target. So just put the herd on. Facing the rear. All weapons committed. Enemy unit destroyed. Nice shot. Now I don't know how familiar you are with Oregon politics, but the reach has badly shaken by the High Lord Tamati's death. It needs a smooth transfer of power. And Kamea belongs to the Cormoran throne. Go ahead, fire up the jump jets, kid. I want to see if you can send that cliff face. Aim that patch of ground there, near the edge of the lake. Okay. Jump jets. Like this patch here. Engaging jump jets. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Jump jets build a lot of heat, and that was more than your engine could handle. Head on into that water. We need to get you cooled off. Warning. Plasma leak detected. Jump jet malfunction. Jump jet system damaged. System inoperable until repaired. Oh, for the love of all the gods. This is what I get for insisting on a rush job. Not that I had a choice. Espinosa refit yards were backlogged like you couldn't believe. It looked like they were trying to process every single Royal Guard mechs in time for the coronation. There isn't any time to get your jets replaced, so we're going to have to make do without them. Go ahead and take that mech down with a melee attack. I want to make sure nothing else breaks down on your blackjack before we take it out to the Cormorant Road. Alright, melee attack. Ignore 
is evasive and guarded. Good hit, at least that's solid. Alright, one last test. When you take the blackjack up to a sprint and evade my attack. Push that engine, kid. If something goes wrong today, I want to know that you're mecha maneuver. Okay. Sprint. Full throttle. Congratulations, for Avatar. Your blackjack's combat ready as it can be, given the circumstances. From what it's worth, I hope that my suspicions turn out to be unfounded, and we end the day having a good laugh about what the paranoid old man I've become. But if not, then I know you'll be ready. Alright, it's time to move out. Lady Arano is waiting for us at the mech bay. An impressive display, Sir Raju. Of course, this mech warrior was a student of yours. I'd expect them to know their way around a cockpit. Return to Mastiff, alright. Allow me to introduce you, Kamea Arano, the soon-to-be High Lady of the Oregon Coalition. Is Lady Victoria on this channel? For the time being, my father has summoned me to the Picton docks. I have a fleet of inspection to tour of the family refit yards to present over before the coronation. Behold, the responsibilities of a noble daughter. A fount of tedium that never runs dry. I know the feeling, cousin. By the time now, I'll be responsible for the entire reach. Give my best to your father. Don't be late for the tourney. The gambling dens are already taking bets on how long it'll take me to cripple that customized monstrosity you pilot. <laughs> Bold words, cousin. But your only victory you will be celebrating is mine. You may be ascending to the throne today, but my Kaga is more than a match for the family heirloom that you call a battle mech. And in the arena, I reign supreme. <laughs> we'll see, cousin. We'll see. At any rate, I will see you at the tourney grounds. Sir Raju, I'm ready to go when you are. Overland along the Cormorant Road, as is the Arano tradition. Aye, Camilla. We'll get you there in one piece. Fravatar, fall in behind me. And remember what I told you. Mission successful. Try to angle your attack to take advantage of enemy vulnerable armor locations. Yeah. Side rears. Side takes out the arms more, rear takes out the back, easier to penetrate. I remember the Oregon Reach of old, the time of the Great Expansion. I was just a boy then. Proudly we went forth, bringing the light of our coalition to so many systems. And for what? To see our great kingdom slowly waste away? Year after year, the council deliberates while our economy falters, and the wolves bay at every door, while covetous neighbors plot against us. Well, I say, it can go no further. We are here today because if Lady Arana will not act, someone must. I know what I'm asking of you. You will face former comrades, or even loved ones, on the battlefield. I take up arms against my own niece. But remember, 
Today, we sacrifice so that tomorrow we can return our kingdom to its proper glory, to its proper strength. So should you fall tonight, know that you did so as true heroes of the Reach. To your stations, for the Directorate! Coronation Day, Cordia City Outskirts, 1322 local time. Still technically the tutorial, although this is just like the prologue, we're not in the main game proper. But I think I'll end the episode here and start the next episode going right into the combat. So I hope you enjoyed it, um, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more, also uh, name requests.